Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Just a uh, morning humor there. Chill out, y'all. This is just my breakfast. said that. <clears throat> Selective service. Next topic on that. Um, I had a couple uh, a couple people ask me. Oh, and then, okay, so in this book that I'm reading, The Army Officer's Guide, it's interesting. Uh, they talk about uh, Army Officer's Guide. Check it out can find it. <laughs> my grandfather gave it to my dad. My grandfather was a World War II logistics contractor of some sort. My dad was an Air Force captain logistics. Uh, I believe my, my grandfather was Army Air Corps, so he saw that whole evolution of Air Force, which is kind of neat. Um, and then uh, I'm, I'm a tanker. I'm an armor guy. Um, served with a lot of infantry units, so you know, I posted yesterday on Instagram about follow me, and let me tell you, I've been 13 years sober, and <laughs> let me tell you, it it feels great. Um, I am so blessed. I am blessed, you know, and with 22 veterans, you know, killing themselves after all that we've been through, basic training and all. Um, hell, reception. If you survived reception, come on. 30th AG at Benning? Come on. Come on. That place was like prison. Woo! You literally wait in line for three days to get your eyes checked and ears. Um, pee in a cup, all that good stuff. Um, so, selective service. Yeah, so, check this out. This guy's just sitting here, um, looking at his, at his Glock. Uh, his M M9, uh, and then big government comes along and be like, hey man, there's some marauders coming, you gotta join up. I'd be like, yeah, I don't like marauders. Uh, so, here we go, we hit the seven minute mark, start moving. Let's get a destination here, let's check the map out. I... I assume this is probably a really bad video game angle, but it's about the information. Uh, however, I do take uh, do take criticism. <laughs> Not constructively. Ooh, yeah, that's a shortcoming. That's something I gotta work on. That's another thing with vets. We are, um, we're kind of babies. Uh, especially the combat arms guys. <laughs> we're so varsity sometimes. Um, Take it easy. Take it easy on us out there. We're we're good people. We're just we're just like everyone. I'm just I'm tired. I got three little ones. I am 
I'm just tired. I don't know about y'all. Um, there's only so much coffee you can drink before, you know, you just you need a little natural, natural out, outlet, whatever that is. Get outdoors. Gosh, man, I went to New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, that whole route. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Route 66. Here's your travel tip for today. Um, I'm going to make some scallops later on. That'll be your, uh, your, for the foodies out there watching. Oh, oh, what do they have? Some flowers there? Oh, some wild lupine. Okay. All right. So, selective service. You've trained. Um, here, let's go. The marauders are coming. You need to train. You need to... Where's base? Where's base? It's kind of in the heart, right? Yeah. Is that it? Uh. Well, golly gee willikers, where is that base at? <laughs> ah. Always lose it. Cloud Falls. Wait, I'm near a waterfall? Let me check this out. Get a good screenshot. Oh no, I think it'll uh, mess with the gameplay. Plus, I don't want to fall off. I'll take a s That's literally how them dudes died. Taking selfies <laughs> falling off. That's not funny. That is not funny. I'm sorry that someone's child. Headquarters. Oh no, lost LT. Lost LT. Oh, there's the juice processing center. <laughs> I got the juice. God, he's my naps. Of service, Marauders came and hey, train was absorbing all the beta X ray. <laughs> in every jest. Uh, let's say that we trained um, and we we're at our first duty station. We meet up all the guys. There's your commander. Oh, this is perfect. Here's your platoon sergeant. Crusty. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, LT or new private. Go to your chew. <laughs> hey, there's the radio guys. We'll just call these the chews. Container housing unit. 
Uh, this is how I came to know it. Um, this guy's got a picture of some pretty classy looking buildings. Oh, is that some fruit? Hey, brackies. Okay, um, so you met with your guys. You're going to go out on your first patrol. All right, let's go. So you're deployed. You're at the Super Fob. You said all your goodbyes. You're in a combat zone. Um, let me just tell you. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I'm, I wasn't even looking at anything. I was just... I'm so sorry. Oh, she's fishing. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. Scared the fish away, too. See? It's all about intentions, guys. Oh, a coughing. Do we need do we need to find some serum or something for these people? Gentlemen. Okay. Show you my ID. Blah blah blah. Alright, scan it. Show them your trip ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, the 14 minute mark. Nothing like a little alliance in the morning, whatever that is. Oh, here's our Humvee. We'd put our, uh, our rhinos down, hop in. Nope, we would hop in, not <laughs> mess with. Actually, we wouldn't put our rhinos in yet. We'd drive through the super fob. Where are we going? Out. Diamondback or oh no, okay, well, uh, oops. <laughs> Jesus, Randall, come on. Jesus, Randall. Oh my god. <laughs> nice driving Tex. Come on. Okay. So Hey y'all look, this is this is how it is. There is no fighting <laughs> in the military. There's more internal fighting than actual fighting. That would be a good, good project right there. The stress of the actual job. Oh, God, okay. Maybe we should just hide from him? Oh, God. Oh, God. So, trying to describe. Coming out of the super fob. <laughs> Uh, that you will have to stop. There will be another gate here. And then, then you put your stuff, your rhinos down. Dukes are duking. Amber and jamming. Make sure all your equipment's running. Paving. Test fire a few shots. Um, those cars just passed. So, alright, let's go out on patrol. We've got a jet hovering above. There's no way. If that identifies me, I will fight. I'll fight I'll fight back. I'm running in. What's wrong with me? Those controls. Okay, so here we'll just set up a little OP here. Actually, <laughs> pretty nice. Okay, so let's do this. Set up a little ambush here. Just make it fun. Now, now you're talking about selective service and the old the old officer's guide. By the way, this uh, I did some more research on that. It's published in 1942. It's the ninth edition. It's the July edition. Um, so you know, Pearl Harbor happened in 41. So that's a good eight months to get, you know, another edition out. But I just, I just wonder um, if the attitude uh, just changed in general about culture and, and who we select and all that. Um, but yeah, it just got me thinking. Uh, it, is it is it justifiable for the government to 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 draft in a time 
of <sighs> they're in a time of need in a time of I just the Nazis were one thing but you know we joke about oil but there are, there are, are bad people out there and America does a lot of good things and you know we do more than fight we uh, we oversee peace treaties, MFO, look that up, multinational forces, um, some co the Kosovo, K4. Uh, you know, we deploy a lot of these tr contractors that we deploy. Um, you know, there's the Civ Mill connection, and let me tell you, these contractors aren't aren't war profiteering or anything like that. They're not. Uh, that's too much Hollywood that the media portrays. Um, it's uh, a lot of teachers, it's a lot of just contractors, like bus drivers, cashiers, um, a lot of truck drivers, uh, you know, carpenters rebuilding uh, countries. Yeah, after we, you know, did some invading and some some pretty wicked stuff with our weapons, but, um, you know, selective service and, and these civ mill things coming out of the United States, it's... It's for good reason. Um, it just when it's put into play, that's that's when the the human card kind of comes in, and we we tend to uh, we tend to do bad stuff when we're when we're given good good too much good good things good deeds. Um, so let's set up an ambush. We're at uh, we're at 20 minutes. So hey, look, I uh, uh, my name is Chris Bame. I'm a ex armor officer. Uh, I was deployed in Mosul. I've never, let's just say that a firefight or something only lasts about two minutes. Um, so that's what we'll do. I hear talking. Oh, it would be wiser for those ghosts to give up and just turn in? Okay, I'm gonna. So no when I was yet, in armor school, oh my god, it sounded like an old fart. Like some crazy when I was like in that. armor school, there was some civilian instructors, and there's one little guy. He reminded me of Rick from Magnum. Um, he described a scene where he was in the most Dude, thick of all thick patches of pricker bushes. I heard a lot of um, things. Just Not sure I believe any of them. Recon I like because you go where other people don't. Um, and the idea of 20, you know, this this whole idea of Bayonet X-Ray and my my fascination with sunrises and sunsets, it's, it's in the gray area. <laughs> That's kind of what veterans are. We're, we're still, you know, we left a piece of ourselves over in wherever we deployed. You know, Kuwait, out on a ship, um, you know, with, there's just a piece of us that that's out there that's um that's how we live that's how we that's how we operate um I, I know a lot of the combat arms arms guys would appreciate or not appreciate just agree uh, okay so wow did those guys hear my ted talk <laughs> oh boy Okay, I heard a sniff. Was that me or them? Oh yeah, so I turned off the map uh, icons and stuff. If you're watching the game and you're like, man, if you're a gamer, um, I like to live on the edge. Okay, that's just an, an inordinate amount of uh, ambush mines but if we're gonna ambush it's gonna get loud silencers off boys hey 22 mic we did it boys and girls um, we'll just we'll wait for uh, the next dupe
Lurks. BT dubs. Don't ever say that again, Chris. BT dubs. Uh, any bird watchers out there? Because I'm a big, big bird watching fan nerd. Bird nerd? There we go. Here comes the tough guys. <laughs> Woo! Got him. Okay. So guess what? Some people survive that. Uh, I know a few. Um, they have missing limbs. Uh, it's it's. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Um, I, I started this channel because there's World War Three memes. There's, there's there's just a lot of scare the draft and all this, and there's a lot of veterans out there that are just are trying to negotiate and navigate the system. And by no means don't ever stop going to the VA or taking care of yourself. Just know that there's there's someone else out there listening. Um, Yeah. Probably don't want to see that again, do we? Do you want your children to see that? Probably not. Alright, I'm out. We are, uh, say that one. Oh, I think we got someone on there. Well, it's time to go, folks. Sunday morning, signing off. Bayonet X-ray.